We've got to get into this royal mess. When when is there not royal mess? And there's a lot going on with Prince Harry, with a lot going on with you know the family, the royal family, and his prevention of coming to the UK. And we just need to really just dive deep into this mess. <coughs> Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. And let's get straight into this video. Subscribe, 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 guys. Click that button. So Prince Harry is taking legal action, guys, against the government over its choice to remove his UK police security and claimed it is unsafe for his family to return to the UK without it. Lawyers acting for Harry, who stepped down from royal duties two years ago, have written a pre-action protocol letter to the Home Office indicating they will seek a judicial review if the Sussexes are not provided with continued security whilst they are in Britain. A statement issued on the Prince's behalf references the fact that others who have left public office as Prince Harry did two years ago have still received police protection. So why can't they? If the case proceeds, it will lead to a battle in the High Court between ministers and Prince Harry. Harry wants to bring his son Archie and baby daughter, um, daughter Lilibet to visit from the US, but he and his family are unable to return to his home because it is far too dangerous. It follows an incident in London in, London in the summer of 2021 when his security was compromised after his car was chased by Paps. The Duke wants to fund the security himself rather than ask any taxpayers to pay the bill. The statement says, as is widely known, others who have left public office and have an inherent threat risk receive police protection at no cost. Harry is arguing his private protection team in the US does not have adequate jurisdiction abroad or access to UK intelligence. The UK will always be Prince Harry's home and a country he wants his wife and children to be safe in. But the refusal of police protection comes as a great risk, which means they cannot actually travel back home. Now, why are they refusing to give this police, police protection to Harry and Meghan? We don't know. But we do know. And I think it's very appalling that this will take place because I think the rule will be very different when it comes to William and Kate. But unfortunately, when it comes to these two, they have a refused police protection. The Home Office is refusing to help them. It is absolutely pathetic. But if we apply critical thinking, this is stories being used. Why? For deflection and deviation. Deflection and deviation from the absolute mess that is going on with Andrew and the fact that he was stripped of his titles a couple of days ago by Elizabeth and therefore they want to suddenly bring this story. What is a coincidence? This was taking place on last September. Why has this hit the news now? Let's lose our brains here. This is pure deviation and the best way they can do this is blame Meghan Markle. Do you understand? Because they want to have, this is the main story, but you have nonce Andrew, dusty old Anne, Karen Middleton with 25,000 wrinkles on her face. Prince William is still looking for his hairline. And then we have Prince Beatrice, who's got two eyes and two different postcodes. But suddenly it's flipping Meghan and Harry where they want to blame and use this as headlines. It is deviation, manipulative tactics taken by the papers, taken by the flipping individuals behind the scenes when it comes to the royal family who are using this as a scapegoat so that they can push away the blame from what is going on with Andrew and the fact that his titles have been stripped. Why are they bringing this story up now? And this is going to be the first time there's going to be some legal action against the establishment and the Queen. This is what Harry is doing. It's going to get ugly. There's going to be some tensions flaming up because of this. And we know Karen is going to be somewhere around um, the royal family, you know, talking around, playing, you know, keeping it cute, but doing something fishy behind the damn scenes. I can just already see it already happening now. And I think it's an absolute shame. An absolute shame. You refuse to bring these two individuals home, but let's save nonce Andrew. Yes, we can obviously, you know, remove his titles, but he's still going to be here. It is it's pathetic. Elizabeth is very aware of this. And of course, that is their home. That is Harry's home. How can they not come back? And with any police protection not being promised, he's even offering to pay with, with his own money, not taxpayers. He should be welcomed with open arms. How pathetic of the establishment. How pathetic and how ridiculous. Let me know your thoughts are on this pathetic stuff. Subscribe to the channel, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.